Face the flag, son. Read what's written there. The history, the progress, the heritage we share. Our flag reflects the past, son, but stands for so much more. And in this age of Aquarius, it still flies in the fore. It leads the forward movement shared by all mankind to learn, to love, to live with peace of mind. Learn the mysteries of space as well as those of Earth. To love each man for what he is, regardless of his birth. To live without the fear of reprisal for belief. To ease the tensions of a world that cries out for relief. Face the flag of stars and bars of red and white and blue. Face the flag, son. Take a good long look. What you're seeing now can't be found in a history book. It's the present and the future, son. It's being written now. And you're the one to write it. The flag can show you how. Do you know what it stands for? What its makers meant? To think, to speak, the privilege of dissent. To think our leaders might be wrong, to stand and tell them so. These are the things that other men under other flags will never know. But responsibility, that's the cross that free men must bear. If you don't accept that, freedom isn't there. Face the flag of stars and bars, of red and white and blue. Face the flag, son, and face reality. Our strength and our freedoms are based in unity. The flag is but a symbol, son, of the world's greatest nation. As long as it keeps flying, there's cause for celebration. So do what you gotta do, but always keep in mind. A lot of people believe in peace, but there are the other kind. If we want to keep these freedoms, fight again, God forbid. But if we do, let's always fight to win. The fate of a loser is futile, it's bare. No love, no peace, just misery and despair. Face the flag, son, and thank God it's still there.